Hey everyone, today we're going to cover something that I get asked about all the time. And that one thing is, how do I get the, all the tools that I need to make sure that I'm getting all the files and the shared folders and things that personally I use when I'm making a truck so that I can use the reflections and I can use some of the shared plastic files and the chrome files and things like that. Everybody is uh, kind of stuck on using the old version of converter picks to convert those files which is great uh, but there's an easy way to do that now one of which is to import a truck um, what that will do is give you the reflection files and some of the shared files that they use however if you'd like to do it manually I'm gonna show you that show you how to do that now without converting the entire base so let's get started All right, so you'll notice we have two file windows here open. <clears throat> the first file window on this side, your left, is going to contain the base files. As you see, I have them all extracted here. The right side is where I've installed the converter picks master file, which is here. So what we want to do is we want to take this file and move it, or copy it anyway, out to the main folder. Now I've create, created this thing called base shared. Now there's nothing in this folder, but I'm naming it so I know that these are the things that I would like to have inside this folder to be converted. Because I don't want to convert video and I don't want to convert UI lab or system or sound or road template or anything like that. So. In this case, this is what I want to do. I mean, there may be other things that you would like to convert and not convert, so you don't have to choose them. However, what I would like to do is I would like to convert these materials. So I'm going to copy the material folder and I'm going to place it into the base shared. So as soon as this is done, we'll be back with you shortly. Okay, it is done copying all that stuff so in this in my case there's a couple other things that i might want uh, for example vehicle there's shared folders in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and i'm going to also paste it in here all right everything is copied into this folder now you don't need everything like you don't need all of this all of the wheels and all of these things right so you can kind of go through, um, these are some of the cars that are in the game, um, that are traffic, this is the driver model. So all these things you don't necessarily need. Um, I'm just saving the shared folders like this. So in this case, I would delete this and the driver, keep the shared. There's also a share folder in the trailer section. So I'm going to delete all of these and trailer owned there aren't any shared files but there are upgrade things which are basically the wheels again not something that you need so in the case of trailer owned i delete those <clears throat> truck you're going to have a shared folder here you're also going to have a shared folder under the upgrade section i would hang on to um some of these things like the w pass those are the textures that are used for the uh way station so you want to keep those i would delete the wheel in here trailer cables uh, not necessary. You can hang on to them if you want. This is just the model. It's not the textures. Um, toll box, no. Steering knob. You could if you were going to make something in addition to those steering knobs. Again, keeping the share, deleting the paint job. Uh, deleting the light because all of those files are in the shares for the textures. Interior decorations. These are all models. 
um, unless there's a special one like the Thrustmaster wheel and pedals. So I wouldn't keep any of these. Again, just because they're specialized, they're not necessarily shared. Some people might not actually have some of those things, so it may show up as an empty texture for them in the end if you use some of those things. Horn, no. Flag, no. Banner, no. Driver plates, no. Um, beacon, again, that's in the shared files with the textures. You have some badges here, uh, the Cummins and the Detroit badge, so those may be handy, so I might hang on to those. Again, showing you what's in here. Um, I usually get rid of this LP proxy. Not sure exactly what it does, but sometimes it causes an error when Converter Pix likes to uh, convert it. <clears throat> and in the wheels, again, you can save like wheel DDS if you're going to use some of the base textures there. Um, but otherwise, I wouldn't keep any of these necessarily. Um, again, maybe the chrome and steel wheel values. But otherwise, no big deal here. So you can get rid of these and just keep the textures. Nope, I don't want to open it. Do not want to open it. Thank you. Delete that. Okay. So now we have stuff in vehicle we're going to save. We have material. So um, this is where you can really get into the business here we don't need this database file though it is handy for blender which i've explained in a previous video um these are wood planks again these are all things these materials are all shared in the game so these are things that you would be able to delete from these folders in your mod because they already exist in the game these are ui items um which again are shared in the game so not necessarily something that you need to convert so I'm going to delete that. Um, unless you're making roads or road templates, I wouldn't worry about any of these. Not something you're going to need for a truck. Ropes are handy to have if you're doing some cabling and stuff on your truck. Um, signs. Special. These are all parking lot things. Some container things. Um... So again, this is all stuff that's up to you on whether you want to keep it. I just do this specifically because converter picks will convert everything, including um, every model in the game, which you don't necessarily need as a base material or a shared material for yourself to use. So I kind of go through these and delete the ones that I don't believe that I'm going to need for what I do. You can convert all of it, just like I did in my original video. But again, if you're not really doing anything with like terrain or those types of things, then really there's no reason to keep them all in your uh, folders and in your base stuff. Like ground, unless you're doing prefabs and stuff like that, no reason to keep dirt or barbed wire fence. So environment is good. This is going to give you your um, all of your reflections for your mirrors and stuff like that. So those are things that you want to hang on to. Editor, don't need. Deferred, I'm going to delete. Road decals, again, maybe something that you want. There's flake noise here. Truck light masks, maybe you want to keep those. Concrete. Again, up to you. Building, I'm not going to share any, I'm not going to keep any building stuff. So now we have these two folders under our base shared folder, which is all of this stuff, all the shared files from vehicle, as well as materials that we may use in what we're making. 
if you go into truck, sorry, if you go into share here, there's models. So models you don't necessarily need. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you delete any of these that you're not gonna use. So these are things that are um, lumber planks and things like that for loads on flatbeds. So if these are things that you're gonna use, you can look through these and you can keep them. In my case, I'm not using any of these, um, except for cable connectors. This is something that you wanna keep because those are the connectors for your, um, for the truck. In case you're doing anything with making your own connectors, those are pretty handy to have. So we'll do this to cable connectors. That's it for me. We can go through here. Get your different marker light files and your banner files. So these are all gonna be handy th things to maybe have for yourself. So we'll hang on to those as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our base shared and we're gonna drop it into converter picks. And it's gonna convert all of those things that we wanted in here. What does that do for us? Well, it takes all these TOBJs that were all in hexadecimal uh, configuration and opens them up into this so that we're able to easily edit them and also open them as necessary in Blender to configure the truck. Because if you only have a DDS, Blender won't open it. It would have to be converted to a TGA. So then you'd have to go through and convert all of these into TGAs, which is a lot more uh, time consuming than just copying some files over and getting them converted with converter picks. So now we have every single shared folder that we should possibly need. Um, we have our driver plates, our glass, our exterior glass, our GPS files. Um, in our upgrade, we have the W pass for the way station. We have more shares, which are cab roof uh, masks and the actual object textures. So we have a lot of um, we have a lot of shared files and a lot of textures that we can use now. If you go into share textures. You'll see in the metal section, you have your paint, your chrome paint, your diamond plate, your steel, your aluminum base, um, and then carpet. You have your shared carpet textures, your plastic textures in here. You have your rubber in here. So this is to make your life easier when now you make your you're making your truck. Now you can drop this entire folder into your exp folder for your truck that you're working with in Blender, which is again, the middle format, which is what we need. So we have those files, those shares files. Now you can just drop them in and you can access them from directly inside Blender when you want to apply a new texture that is included in the shared base. Just to show you what I mean within Blender, if you go to your material tab on the side, add a new material, we'll call it test material. Of course, I also have to spell when I'm making those things. Uh, we wanna check our base path. Let's make sure that that's set. It is my version two project 3XX. So I should have all the materials and the textures that I would need because I copied them from that folder that we made. And we're going to make a preset of, say, diff spec add NV. Uh, we're going to change it to material mode. And then we're going to add our material and our UV map. If 
So now if we go to vehicle, share, textures, now we have all these to look at. If I want to add my rubber, see it just says TOBJ. It doesn't say TGA because it's only picking up either TOBJs or TGAs inside Blender. So that's why the DDSs don't show up in here because it's only looking for the graphics information from a TOBJ or the TGA because uh, Blender Tools converts the TGAs to DDSs in the end. There you go. So there's your rubber texture. Now we can also move this out of the way here and we can uh, try another one. We'll show you what the carpet one looks like, which is here. And also the chrome. We'll call it the chrome special. You can see all the cuts and slashes in it. And from here you can add your how dark you want it and things like that. So all of those files are now inside that shared section. As you can see up here at the top of the screen, project 3xx vehicle slash share slash textures. So this is inside the game. All of these shared textures are included. You do not have to keep them in your mod because they are included in the base. So you would not need to have that extra folder in the end. You just want to keep it in your files to start with so that you can apply those textures as you need. Well, that's been the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit of something from this video regarding how to use converter picks to take the base files and make them into the shared files that you would need to drop into your mods in the middle format so that you can apply them to the objects you're trying to use without making a whole bunch of extra textures that you may not need. Remember, if you're not subscribed, please consider it and give me a like or maybe a comment to let me know if this is something that helped you in modding SCS video games. Have a good one. We'll see ya.